Oh, look who's here. It's a cute little kitten who lives in a tree. Time for a ride in your basket. Cue the balloons. Ah, flying. It's the only way to travel. The tree kitten has landed. Now let's bundle you up like a little burrito. Let's clean you up. We should start with those ears. This calls for heavy duty stuff. Good thing we've got a fingertip toothbrush. Really get in those whiskers and scrub those messy paws. Almost done. You can dry off and cosplay as a bunny at the same time. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got a special surprise for you. Huh? Put some holes in this milk carton and add some udders on top. Now it's like he's got his own personal cow. But around here, we go all out for snack time. We've got food, we've got water, we've got buttons. And the piece de resistance, the meat bar. Of course, you might be in the mood for sausages. Who said cats don't like dogs? Especially hot dogs. Now it's time to have some fun with this long tunnel. Add them to some cardboard boxes. Now our tree kitten has his very own tunnel system. After all, why should hamsters have all the fun? Let's add a little personalization while we're at it. There's no doubt what furry friend lives here. Anyone in the mood for tiny billiards? He'll write the great kitty novel on this. What else? Here's an idea. Grab an old t-shirt. Tie up the ends and hang it up. It's a kitty hammock. Throw on some pillows. Now grab a rubber glove. You only need one. Add it around a cup and fill it up with sand. It's great if you want a tiny chair or a moderate-sized hand. Add a reminder of his favorite person and it's time to explore. I told you he liked her. He plays pool by his own rules. Ah, such a bright sunny day for napping. Hey, be careful on top of that. Even if you can land on your feet. Let's have fun with these paw prints. Add epoxy resin. Decorate any way you want and then add them on a chain. It's a friendship bracelet. Well, a necklace at his size. I've heard of a monkey on your shoulder, but this is better. Run some string through a shower glove's fingertips. Our kitty's not the only one with retractable claws. Now we need to blow up a balloon. Well, that works. Make four of these and tie to each of the strings. It's like a baby mobile and a cat toy rolled in one. Cut up some foam around and cardboard. It's a tiny sink, complete with a tiny mirror. We can even cut up a straw to make a faucet. Add a dial. And what's a bathroom without a bath? A uh, gesundheit. Uh -oh. Is that rain tinsel? How'd that get up there? Hmm, 
This tub could use some tinsel and pom-poms. <laughs> After all, cats don't really do water. What the? I don't think your dolls will miss this garland. Time to see if our kitten likes his new water closet. Probably should powder his nose while we're here. Next up, take a sock and put it on a glass. Fill it up with some soil and seeds. And then, some more soil. We'll need to speed things up a bit. Wrap it up and add googly eyes. Why not? Now that you know how to make it, you'll never run out of delicious cat grass. This cat house needs a doorway. Now take the bristles off some toothbrushes and add it to the door. Grooming now just takes a few steps. Time to get out an old plastic bottle. Cut off the end. Now add some hot glue in the middle. Reattach with some string and pull out the neck. Now take a ball and attach with some more hot glue. Just pull it down and it pops open. Now add kibble. And behold, your cat can have treats with the flick of a paw. Why not make one for yourself while you're at it? It's the best of both worlds. Your kitty gets a ball to play with and snacks. Mmm, chips. Eh, never mind, at least we got the two. Tie some jute rope around it. Lasso it up. Add a bunch to the side of one of the boxes. Now your little rock climber can get some exercise. It's also a fun way of going up without stairs. And it's the perfect place for just hanging around. This cute tiny candy ball's the perfect thing for our cute tiny cat. Got something in your throat? Ooh, a fish skeleton. Dip it in some paint and decorate the cat's house. That, or just make some fish bone broth. Seaweed in her hair? What, is she a mermaid? Well, it's fish related, so on the box it goes. So tell me, kitty, do you like your new pad? You can just relax and scratch an itch, or go on a little adventure. After all, you're the king of this castle. Who knew that hallways could be so fun? Oh no! He thinks I'm a mouse! Why did I eat all that cheese? He'll be in his equally adorable kitty trailer. Ah, just kidding. This kitty's a real professional. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Wait, Jeeves, do you see what I see? There's a dog in a basket, in the water. Oh, we gotta save him. And by we, I mean you, Jeeves. I'll whip up my very own doggy pocket. I'll call you Seiko. Let's go to your new home. Aw, oh, who's a good girl? Ugh, with bad breath. What you need is this finger toothbrush. Add some toothpaste. And start brushing. Good girl. I accept payment in puppy kisses. Well, aren't we feeling jumpy today? Here, this should calm you down. Now for some relaxing oils. 
and a nice face roller massage. Next up, a gua sha scraper. It'll take care of any muscle pain. And who can say no to a manicure? Plus a nice soothing paw rub. A face mask? I guess it fits. And while you relax, we'll get lunch ready. You know, it helps to chew your food. Looks like you could use a challenge. Like this dog puzzle. We'll need to hide some treats inside. Okay, come on down. You're the next contestant on The Treat is Right. You win a snack. And another. And you take your time enjoying them. Finally, it's okay to play with your food. Wow, sand bottles. Squish them up. And it's like a day at the beach. It's also great for making paw prints. And if you want to make it last, fill it up with tiny treasures. Glitter. And pour on some epoxy resin. Pretty soon, you'll have something sparkly for your dog to wear. Aw, oh, I love you too, but just let me finish my nails. Okay, we need a distraction. Ooh, a rubber glove. Now fill it up with liquid and seal it up. Make a bunch and place on your pup for some hands-free petting. So we can get back to... Oh no! Looks like someone's been shedding. Don't worry, our lint roller ball will save the day. Works great on sleeves, so let's try the couch. Now everything looks store-bought new. Aw, he's sharing his toys with you. He must like you. Or he's just playing fetch. Extreme edition. We need something to hold them all. Like this inflatable pool. There's plenty of room inside for everyone. Careful, you'll tire yourself out. Or is that the idea? Well, as they say, <laughs> let sleeping dogs lie. It's getting late. Almost time for bed. Which reminds me, he needs a bed. First, let's get him off the floor. Get a laundry basket and some cut-up pool noodles. Lay them inside and add a blanket. And the final touch, a cute puppy. Oh, don't forget the bedtime story. Once upon a time, and they lived happily ever after. Hmm, 40 winks wouldn't be so bad. It's still early, so let's keep quiet. Never mind, but hey, free planks. Always fun to squeeze in a little woodworking. 
especially when making a doghouse. Seiko's gonna need a nameplate. And a potato? Ooh, a potato stamp. Dip it into some paint. And decorate the doghouse. Everybody raise a paw. Next, add some push pins to the sides. Tie some string around them, and you can make letters. D O G. Come on, Seiko. Oh, I think she likes it. Whoops. Yeah, I'd say goodbye to that shoe. You know, if you got any old pumps, grab some pipes. Add them together into a cube. And hang the old shoes on top. You know, Seiko's right. Shoes are fun. Hang some rope on the other side. We're making a puppy playground. Catch the ball, Seiko! Wow! Three for one! Oh, let's hang these up, too! And that's just the start! Come on, Seiko! Let's try it out! Now for the shoes! Ha! Huh, Seiko's gonna sleep good tonight! Oh, it's hot! Oh no! Seiko! You're panting! And dogs can't sweat! Well, mm, paw pads. Jeeves! Oh, a duvet cover? Lie it down on the ground. Now place a fan on its side. And blow it up nice and big. It's the coolest spot around, literally. Time to make some art. Ooh, Seiko wants to help. Hmm, it's not such a bad look. So why don't we make more paw prints? Scan them and hang them up at your house. He'll always know he's home. Yeah, I think Seiko's gonna like it here. But sometimes, all a dog really needs is just a nice new tennis ball. Not that all his new toys aren't cool. Ah, who am I kidding? New stuff's great! Come on, the camera loves you! You own that catwalk! Though, maybe I shouldn't have used the word catwalk? Want your pup to be a fashion star? Start with boots. Let's try these first. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Perfect fit. Just remember, we need four in all. It's not like your pup can resist all those puddles. Now let's try the balloon. Deflate it a little. That was quick. Now place on your pupper. And it still protects their paws from all that dirt. Either way, it's cheaper than a doggy treadmill. Of course, while dogs appreciate a good walk, they sometimes prefer to just ride along. Especially when you do the skating for them. Hey, look, Ma! No paws! But if you don't have a special bag, 
We can try out an old tote bag. Cut out some paw holes. Plop your puppy right inside and go for a spin. Just be careful if you've got a great dame. Time for gadgets for your dog's more private moments. This one's pretty big. And look, it gets bigger. And bags are included. Just take one and wrap it around. Well, we might as well try it out. Give it a sec and test it out. That was easy. Oh, guess I spoke too soon. What are you feeding him? Let's just hope we don't run out of bags. Now let's try the hair clip. Hope you don't use it. Either way, we're covering it up. Hey, it works. And good thing the trash bin's right here. Well, that was fun. But now here's something for the cats. Look at that cat brush. And those bristles. And while we've got a cat here, why not try it out? Look at all that hair. Well, now it's a toupee. Up next, we're gonna try a foot. Oh, I guess just the sock. Add onto a brush. Just make sure all those bristles poke through. Groomed twice in one day? Huh, this cat knows how to live. Pull off the sock and the mess is gone. Pets don't do that whole don't play with your food thing. Take this toy garden. Bury some treats. Plop in some carrots. Sort of reverse gardening, you know? Like, come on, Scoob! Put that snout to work! After all, what dog doesn't like to dig? Eh, carrots are really more of a rabbit thing. Take a TP roll, cover the bottom. Put a string through it and add a few more. Fill up with treats and give to your dog. The trick is to spin them around. It gets them on the floor, but not for long. Dogs gotta keep up their tongue exercises. Wow, look at all those suction cups. Stick it up and spread on something yummy for your pooch. While they're not looking, it's grooming time. Here's our backup plan. Take some plastic wrap. Wrap around your head and add the food. Now you and your dog can have some quality time. So why not squeeze in a manicure? Can't neglect your pet's dental care. And just in time, let's start with a brush. Now let's use the glove, but it could use some help. You just can't beat a good bristle. Add some doggy safe toothpaste. Now when you brush, really get in there. Ah, cats just seem to get the best toys. Just add a plume on top of this toy. Now, let your cat take it for a spin. So many ways you can play with it. This kitty's gonna sleep well tonight. 
But why not make a toy? Hey, watch out! Look, a feather! <laughs> this could come in handy. Just tape it to the end of your shoe. Why not both slippers while you're at it? Now you and your cat can play together. Throw in some catnip, and this is kitty luxury. Now for a puppy bumper. Start with the donut. After all, who doesn't love donuts? Open up and stick your pup inside. Now that fence is nothing to worry about. Now try a spoon. Just add to a harness. Like a cone of shame, but without the shame. Pets sometimes need a little space. You know, a little alone time. <laughs> this cute little tent is just the thing. Of course, there's some owner assembly required. Come on, kitty, there's plenty of room inside. No wonder female cats are called queens. Let's see what we can make out of these old jeans. Plenty of leg room, but let's add some stuffing. Now fold it up into a makeshift lap. And it's your cat's rightful throne. It's time for some interactive dog toys. This bone's got some teeth. Add kibble. Let's hope its bark is worse than its bite. Now for the ultimate test. The bone or the chicken? Uh-huh. Dogs and bones just go together. If you don't have one, just take a towel. Add some kibble in a pattern and fold it up. Nothing can hide from a dog's trusty sniffer. Unroll the pink carpet. It's snack time. Puppies are cute, but they usually don't come housebroken. Devices like this should help. Just add a sheet. And your dog enjoys their own patch of lawn. But maybe a nice plastic bin is all you need. Just fill it up with some sand. Maybe some rocks and wood shavings, too. Now roll out a patch of artificial grass. Stick it in a corner and let your puppy enjoy needing to go. Cats just love a good light show. What are you waiting for? Fire the laser! If only the laser wasn't so hard to catch. Just like one of those cartoon mice. But maybe all we need is a hard hat. With a laser pen taped onto the front. Shake your head. Just don't get dizzy. I mean, you could just use the laser pen by hand. But come on, where's the fun in that? Because selfies aren't just for people. Seriously, social media is 99% pet photos. For this device, clip on a snack and a phone. Come on, time to get ready for your close-up. Let's send these headshots to Paw Patrol. <laughs>
This frame might help too. <laughs> Smear it with food. Once again, the food will catch your dog's attention. Zoom in, unless you want the food in the photo. Of course, it's hard to take a bad photo with such a cute model. Pet amazing stuff. Catch you next time.